Students and families, thanks for tuning into this video, and I hope you're having a wonderful summer. We're going to share with you the details in just a few moments of how we're going to reopen school. The video that you're going to watch today is a big broad overview and we'll follow that up with additional videos with greater detail. Parents, we're also going to be sending emails to you and specifically the weekly newsletter that details all of the infinite details that are tied to these new plans relative to opening due to COVID. I want everyone to know this that every decision, every plan that we've made, we've done so with the best interest of the student in mind, the best interest of the family in mind, and our teachers and staff as well. Simultaneous to that, we're making sure that every student receives the very best education during this, uh, this crazy COVID time period, okay? This video will begin answering a lot of your questions. It may create some new questions, Again, we will be here to answer all of those questions as we move forward, and we'll do so together. Families, students, Purcell Marion community, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we've been waiting patiently, uh, certainly to hear how we're gonna open the school year, and today I'm gonna begin to, to share that information with you. We're gonna do a series of videos to really detail the process, um, but today we're gonna give you the big overview of uh, what this is gonna look like. Parents, we've shared with you in an email that, uh, that we have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. Plan A is everybody's in, plan B is a hybrid, plan C would be remote if we, were, if we needed to 100% go remote. We do have the ability to broadcast all of our classes, uh, and we will do that. So a student that needs to be at home, 100% um, of the time, we can make that happen. Uh, with that, we've got a new ability to where students can actually uh, chime in from home and be heard by the entire class and at the same time for a class conversation to happen and for the student to be able to hear that at home. So that's a new technology that we'll feature in a later video. But what we're trying to do here is to meet the needs of every student. Our goal in relaunching our school year is to do so responsibly and to ease into the school year. We see professional sports being eased into. We see the reopening of stores being eased into with, uh, with a capacity limits and total numbers. We see Kings Island the same way, easing into its reopening. And at Purcell Marion, we're gonna do the same thing. And here's what that looks like. At Purcell Marion, we're gonna start with our plan B. And here's what that looks like. Every freshman will be in school every single day. Our freshmen across the board we want to welcome you. We want to form you into the, the great class that you're going to be. And to do that best, we need you in here every day. And we've been able to create a schedule that allows all freshmen uh, to be in, uh, to maintain a six foot or greater distance, social distance within the classroom, and to still be able to do all the learning and laboratory experiments and all that we need to do um, in that situation. So all freshmen will be in every single day like a regular school day. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, your classes will be divided into an A day and a B day, right? So A day students will report the first half of the week, B day students the second half. So A day, your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of week one, B day kids, you'd be Thursday, Friday. Of week two, A day kids, your Monday and Tuesday, B day kids, your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that rotates, okay? Now, I said we're easing into this. We need to make sure that we're protecting our students and we need to make sure we're protecting our teachers. If we have teachers that are exposed and we have to shift teachers out of the building quickly, that means I have substitute teachers in the building. That's not a good option for student learning. So in our ease in process, to be honest with you, is all about protecting our teachers so that they cannot be exposed. We can create a classroom with a social distance of six feet or more and make it impossible for an exposure to happen during that classroom if everybody follows the requirements. In a traditional class with 24, so the three feet social distancing, that's a regular classroom. So when we say three foot social distance in a classroom, that's a regular classroom. It looks the same as any old classroom in America. Probably it's what it looked like when you went to school. In that environment, the likelihood of a teacher exposure is pretty high. 
right? And if we lose teachers quickly, we'll have a problem. And what will happen is then we'll have to go 100% remote learning. And I don't think that's something that anyone wants. So in easing into this, this is the path we're going to take. When we're successful, and I believe we will be, we're going to reevaluate our plan every two weeks. So every other Wednesday, we're going to have a team meeting, which will consist of a board member or two, school administration and teachers. And then we'll make the decision, does it make sense to continue with plan B or do we need to switch to plan A or plan C? The idea here is flexibility to ensure that the learning is taking place and it's, and it's, it's the best that it can be. It's to ensure that the teacher is in place to ensure that student learning is sound. Again, putting the student at the center of, equation, of the equation here relative to the learning process, we need to make sure that the student has their teacher. And then starting with this ease-in process the way I've just described, it is the safest mechanism to have all students back on campus, freshmen every day and everybody else on a, on a hybrid basis, and for teachers to, in a sense, guarantee to the best of our ability that an exposure would not happen. To make all this happen, we've decided to change our student academic schedule this year. We're going to switch to a 4x4 block schedule. What that means is this. All students will have four bells every day. They'll be the same four bells and it'll be a block schedule of approximately 80 minutes a bell. Students will get a year's class, a year's worth of credit, in a semester because we're doubling up the time. We will be limiting the number of students that our teachers see. So instead of teachers having five or six different classes coming in and out of the room, in this model, teachers will only see three classes coming in and out of the room on a given day. We've reduced the amount of exposure to our teacher. Simultaneously, we've reduced the number of students that our students are coming in contact with throughout the course of the day as well. We'll still have lunch. We're opening a second cafeteria space in our center. And so that'll be social distance as well. There is plenty of time for kids to still be kids. And we can do so in a safe environment that protects our kids and guarantees that our teachers can still teach in this building as we ease back in to, um, to the school year, okay? So those are the big highlights right there. There's much more to share, but I wanted to give you those two big bites right off the front. Let that settle in. In another day or so, we'll be coming back on to explain a little bit more about what this four by four block schedule looks like and how it will be reflected and on the, the, for the school year for each student. Again, the same classes that your student has already signed up for, they'll still be in those same classes. We're just going to do it through this block schedule. Okay. Again, another advantage of this block schedule is if we had to, and this would be if the governor says all learning needs to go remote because of a spike in COVID cases. This allows us to keep the same schedule seamlessly from plan A to plan B to what plan C would be distance. Teachers are not changing how they prep their lessons. They're the same. We're just changing how we deliver those lessons. And again, remember, all freshmen, they're pretty much in plan A every day because they are going to be in every day, except for a family that might, for a medical reason, choose to opt out and learn from home. Okay, so next video, we'll detail a little bit more about the 4x4 block. The video after that will detail much more about how we're keeping our building clean uh, the new products that we're using and these big sanitizing fogging machines that we have that uh, that will make this place as as clean and as safe as we can possibly make it. And then when we're all done, we're actually going to 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 likely do a, a Facebook Live opportunity where um, where parents can chime in, ask some questions. Myself, Mr. Tobin, Ms. Johnson, Ms. Spencer, Mr. Dowdy will be available uh, to answer questions. Okay. Thank you so much for paying attention. Again, we will give more information out over the next couple days, and we will have an opportunity for questions. In the meantime, you can always call me up here at school, okay, 751-1230.
ask for me, uh, and uh, I'll be happy to talk to you. Okay? Thank you very much, and from one cavalier to another, together, onward cavaliers.